Vice President Mike Pence recently took a trip to Ireland, and while he was there, he stood in Dunbeg. Now, Dunbeg is approximately three hours away from Dublin, where the vice president would be conducting official business on behalf of the U.S. government. So the question is, why would you stay so far away if you know you're going to need to be in Dublin? He literally had to fly from Dunbeg to Dublin, of course, because it's pretty far. So it's more efficient to travel via air. So why not just stay in Dublin? What's the point of staying that far away? Well, uh, our president, Donald Trump, recommended that maybe the vice president stay at one of his resorts. And of course, Mike Pence did decide to do that. And can you guess who paid for this? Of course, you, the taxpayer. So understand, <laughs> Donald Trump is personally profiting by having the vice president stay in one of his resorts in order to conduct official business on behalf of the United States. Now, let's not forget that air travel is an extra cost to the taxpayer. And, you know, it's the Republican Party who claims that they are more fiscally responsible and fiscally conservative. So not only is this not the most efficient way to use taxpayer funds, but it's also incredibly corrupt. It poses a conflict of interest. But what's funny is that Mike Pence assures us that there's no conflict of interest here. Nothing to see. You know, staying hours away from where he needed to be to instead stay at a location where it would personally benefit the president. It was just the more logical choice, which is why he chose to stay there. And as Quint Fourier of Politico reports... Vice President Mike Pence on Tuesday defended his decision to stay at a Trump resort during his trip to Ireland this week, stressing it provides a, quote, logical accommodation for his visit to his mother's ancestral homeland. I understand political attacks by Democrats, but if you have a chance to get to Dunbeg, you'll find it's a fairly small place, Pence told reporters, and the opportunity to stay at the Trump National in Dunbeg to accommodate the unique footprint that comes with our security detail and other personnel made it logical. Mark Shor Pence's chief of staff told reporters earlier Tuesday the vice president was invited, not instructed by President Donald Trump, to stay at his resort and that taxpayers will foot the bill for the lodging. I don't think it was a request, like a command, I think that it was a suggestion, Short said. It's like when we went through the trip, it's like, well, he's going to Dunbeg because that's where the Pence family is from. It's like, well, you should stay at my place, Short added of Trump's offer. Oh, okay, so that sounds perfectly reasonable and totally not sketchy, and the individual who was rationalizing this and justifying it doesn't seem like they were, like, uh, like, scrambling, like, to, uh, explain, like, why Mike Pence was, like, staying here. I mean, come on. But, you know, the good news is that at least his mom and wife, who also came with him, didn't stay at Trump's resort on the taxpayer's dime. He paid for that out of pocket. Wonderful. And I love how he's essentially presenting this to us as he had no choice. Look, there's no room for me to stay with this large security detail anywhere in Dunbeg but the Trump resort. So don't stay in Dunbeg. If you want to go and take a trip there and allow your mom or Karen's mom or whoever to come with you and visit their homeland, then have them do that at a separate time, why do they have to come with you to conduct official business? That doesn't really make any sense now, does it? If it would be more economical for you to stay in Dublin, and it makes more sense just uh, from the standpoint of being more efficient and saving time, just have them come back on their own time. But, I mean, these are corrupt individuals, and I love how he hits Democrats for criticizing him when we all know that Republicans would not waste an opportunity to criticize Barack Obama in the event the shoe were on the other foot. So, these are absolute hypocrites, and this is not the first time that Donald Trump has personally profited by either foreign leaders or, you know, uh, one of these American leaders staying at one of his hotels or resorts. It's unacceptable. This is a conflict of interest, and the fact that he did not place his businesses in a blind trust makes it even worse, because his sons are in control, which means that he can revoke control at any given time. And he's still racking up the money from these stays by lawmakers, both foreign and domestic. And that's a problem. 
but yet Republicans will turn a blind eye and pretend like this doesn't exist. Something, something, he's going to drain the swamp. No, he's not going to drain the swamp. Donald Trump is the swamp. And if you don't see that, you're not very bright. You could support the Humanist Report at patreon.com slash humanist report. But trust me, I'd have way more supporters on Patreon if that was my podcast. Sad. <laughs>